timer mode 1 programming in 8051. After watching this video, you will understand timers and related registers. You will also understand timer mode 1 operation and its assembly language programming. In 8051, there are two timers. Timer 0 and Timer 1. There are 16 bit timers which can be considered as 8 bit timers TL0, TH0 for Timer 0 and TL1 and TH1 for Timer 1. They can be accessed like any other resistors in 8051 architecture. For example, move TL0 4FH. This loads data 4FH into TL0. Both timers 0 and 1 use TMOD register which is a TMOD timer mode register. This is used to set various timer operation modes. It is an 8 bit register. The lower 4 bits are used for timer 0 and upper 4 bits are used for timer 1. The lower 2 bits are used to set timer mode and upper 2 bits are used to specify the operation. TMOD register is an 8 bit register. Now we will see how to configure this register for timer 1 and timer 0. Gate bit. This is gate control bit. This controls operation of the timer. For timer to operate, this bit has to be 0. C slash T bar. For counter operation, this has to be 1. And for timer operation, this bit we should keep it to 0. Bits M1 and M0, they specify the various operating modes of the timer. M1 and M0, if they are 0, 0, it is 13 bit timer mode, wherein THX is 8 bit timer and TLS is 5 bit prescaler. M1 and M0, when they are 0, 1, this is mode 1 of the timer operation. It is 16 bit timer mode. In this class, we are going to see operation of 16 bit timer mode specifically. When M1 and M0 are 1, 0, mode is 8 bit auto reload mode. And when M1 and M0 are 1, 1, it acts as split timer mode where both the timers are in the operation. Another register which is used in the timer programming is TCON register. This is also an 8 bit register. For upper bits, they are related with the timer operation, whereas lower 4 bits, they are related with interrupts. TF1 is timer flag 1, TF0 is timer flag 0. When timer rolls over from FFFF to 00, these bits are set. TR1 and TR0, they are used to start the timer 1 and timer 0 respectively during the operation. To start the timer, TR1 and TR0 should be made 1. TCON register is bit addressable register and using instruction set bit and clear bit, they can be set or cleared during the operation. Now we will see timer control logic for 8051. In 8051 timer operates 
on the frequency which is divided by 12 to the crystal frequency. C slash T bar, this bit of T mod register decides whether timer is acting as a timer or it is counter. When T is 0, it acts as a timer. In the figure, you see gated circuit which has one inverter or logic and and logic. For this circuit to switch on, the switch which is indicated in the circuit, gate bit has to be 1 and this enables AND gate when TR bit is 1. Further, this is connected to various modes of timer operation. Now we will see mode 1 programming. Various steps in the mode, pro mode 1 programming are it is a 16 bit timer so it allows values from 00, 00 to FFFFH to be loaded in the timer register TL and TH. Once TH and TL are loaded with 16 bit initial value timer must be started by using TR bit we have to set this bit in the program. Once timer is started it starts to count up from the initial count. When it rolls over from maximum limit to 0000, it sets flat bit to high. Each timer has flat bit which is TF0 and TF1 for timer 0 and timer 1 respectively. When this flag is set, then to stop the timer, we have to use clear TR0 or clear TR1 for timer 0 and timer 1 respectively. TH and TL must be reloaded with the original value and TF must be reloaded to 0. Now we will see the steps involved in using timer to generate a delay. Load Tmod value in the register that is you are going to configure Tmod register based on which timer and which mode of the operation of the timer is needed. Load initial value in TL and TH start the timer. Then monitor TF flag using JNB instruction. Once TF flag is set, get out of the loop when TF becomes high. Then stop the timer and clear TF flag for the next process. Go back to the step 2 to load TH and TL again. Now we will see how to configure T mod register based on which mode of the operation and which timer is to be used. We have to configure T mod register. For example, move T mod comma hash 01h. This instruction uses mode 1 of timer 0. Move tmod hash 20h. This uses mode 2 of timer 1. And so on. Now, in another example, crystal frequency of the oscillator is mentioned as 11.0592 MHz. Hence, 
when c slash bit of t mod is 0, this frequency is divided by 12, that is 921.6 MHz is the frequency on which timer operates. To find the timer delay, timer period, T is 1 divided by 921.6 MHz. This gives 1.085 microseconds as the timer clock period. Now we will see how to calculate the count to be which is to be loaded in timer. If the delay required is known then we can calculate the count using the equation count is equal to delay required divided by timer clock period. Previously we have seen how to get timer clock period. Now to get hexadecimal count, subtract the obtained count from FFFF and add 1 to this. This is needed because timer rolls over from FFFF to 0. If you are going to use decimal arithmetic, then subtract the count from 65536. Now we will see the values which are to be loaded in TL and TH register with respect to frequency 11.0592 MHz. As earlier seen, now timer clock period is 1.08 microsecond. Considering the decimal arithmetic, we subtract the obtained count from 65,536 and then we convert this to hexadecimal value that is yyxx then xx value is loaded in tl which is a lower byte and yy is loaded in th which is higher byte now let us see some examples on Timer mode 1 programming. Assume we want to generate a square wave of 50% duty cycle on port P1.5 and we are going to use timer 0 for this purpose. As earlier explained, now we configure T mod to timer 0 and 16 bit mode. So the value to be loaded in T-mod is 0, 01. Based on 50% duty cycle, now TL0 and TH0 counts obtained are F2H and FFH respectively. For 50% duty cycle, T on and T off both are same. So, here only one delay is sufficient for on period as well as off period. When we are considering the delay required, we need to divide this delay by 2. Considering initial status of P1.5, in the next step, we complement port P1.5 and then we call a delay. Next step is to start the timer 0 and then monitor the TF flag until it rolls over from FFFF to 0. Next, clear TR0 that is stop timer 0 and then clear timer 0 flag also and then return to main program.